How do you go from this to this? Today, I'm gonna to be looking at some incredible platforms that are way more awesome than Zoom. And that's mainly due to two reasons. Firstly, Zoom has reduced their free version down to 40 minute time limits. And secondly, Zoom hasn't evolved over the many years that it's existed. I've been using it for years and it's barely changed. It's even been called the 21st century biro. And in the meantime, people are moving on. There are people in the community space that are now using incredible tools to give their community members way more exciting experiences, engage them more, and encourage meaningful connections online. Most of all, people are having more fun than they would be on Zoom. So let's take a look at some of these platforms, shall we? All right, so let's dive straight in. First up, we have gather.town. Gather is such a fun way to host an event. It's completely different from Zoom, as you can see. You have these really cute avatars. You get to choose your avatar. The best part for a community manager is that you can completely customize your space and choose what does this space look like? Where do you want people to connect? And how do you want them to connect? So you can really bring your space to life with the builder and it's really fun, I must admit. It does take work and the more work you put into building a unique space, the better. I do think you could completely customize your space, make sure that it meets your own community values and what are you trying to achieve by creating your community. I do think that you should build your space intentionally. Think about your community's purpose, think about the brand, the values, and try to incorporate that into the space when you're building on a tool like Gather, because to be honest, the more creative you are, the more that your members are gonna get out of the whole experience. I've actually found this really fun personally. I'm sure you could hire Gather builders if you prefer to not spend your time doing that. That would actually make a really cool occupation to be a gather builder. The great aspect about this tool is there's more than just hanging out in these cute little rooms and playing around with your avatars. You can actually work in these rooms. You have whiteboards, you have conversations happening, you can have brainstorming sessions, even friendly competitions. But this environment actually simulates real life a lot closer than Zoom does. For instance, with your avatar, when you move closer to another person in the gather town, what happens is your mic actually gets louder and their mic gets louder when you approach each other. So it's really cool because it's a little bit like real life where if you walk up to a group talking, then you suddenly are able to hear the conversation. Well, the same concept happens in Gather, and I think that's really well done. Gather is offering three months worth of free Gather space if you are a startup, which I think is great to know. But let's take a look at their pricing. So the great news is you can get started for free. They have a free version where you can use the platform for up to 25 concurrent users. You can customize the maps. You can use interactive objects. That's something else I should have <laughs> mentioned. You can actually create objects that interact. Like you can have a movie screening on a rooftop and actually screen the movie because the cinema actually interacts with YouTube, for instance. The other great aspect about Gather is that if you do want more functionality, like say you want to host an event for 300 users, well, the good news is the pricing is affordable. If you compare this to Zoom's pricing, well, you're looking at a huge difference. Zoom is usually starting around $15 per month. The pricing is generally really affordable for online events, but you get most of the functionality in the free version. I just say that if you're really looking to host a large event up to 500, then you're gonna have to go premium. Oh, the other aspect is if you wanna email the guest list, then you will need to go premium as well. So there are a few little additional extras with the premium, but in terms of getting started and running an event that is just completely different to Zoom will blow your community members' minds and will blow the minds of the people that are attending your event or meeting, then Gather Town is an awesome alternative. 
and I can see why this is becoming more and more popular and more people are telling me, have you tried Gather? All right, now on to Topia.io. So first up, this website was absolutely stunning and I must admit that I got so excited just from the website alone. I really like how they're combining real world and the virtual world together, but even with the virtual world avatars, they look really, really cute. And I, I mean, look at that dancing. It's so sweet. I think people would really enjoy using a tool like this. Topia says that this is really about creating interactive experiences in the metaverse. You can see that you can change up the worlds here. Some big names are using this product. Let's go ahead and try entering a Topia world and seeing what it's like. I will say that for a lot of these types of platforms, it does take a little while to load. And that's something that if you are going to host an event like this, just let the people know who you're hosting the event or the meeting for to expect a little bit longer of a loading time, but tell them that it's worth it. Once they get in, they're gonna have fun. All right, I'm gonna choose a display name here and let's enter this world. So you have to create an account for the welcome lobby, which is a little annoying because I just wanna try it out myself. But anyway, let's do that. I tried to enter as a guest and to be honest, I must admit for platforms like this, if they want more people to adopt them, then I will say try to make it as easy as possible for people to be able to trial the platform. Because for this, even if I wanted to enter as a guest, I still had to confirm that I was a human being. I had to create an account and it just, it was too high barriers for entry for a lot of people. That's just a little note to the Topia team. You can see some really big names here. Alexis Ohanian, who is the co-founder of Reddit, talks about Topia and the fact that it's got some serious backing means that you'd feel relatively confident that the platform itself is stable and should be able to run fine. But I absolutely love it. I think it's really fun to have the sweet little avatars. You can follow each other around these different worlds, explore together. Look, they've got Phil's coffee here. So they're kind of combining the virtual world and the real world together. I love the fact that they have the ability for the avatars to sit on these bean bags. I just think that creates such a vibe rather than the avatars just standing around. I feel like it's, it's like creating the conference of the metaverse because when you go to a conference, usually you will enter with other people and you're kind of all experiencing it at the same time. And Topia is what this feels like. It feels like the digital version of that. And speaking of conferences, you can see on the screen here, the best part about hosting online experiences on a platform like Topia, is the limitation of the physical world doesn't apply here. So you can see that they can use portals to transport people from one world to the other. They can create these really creative worlds that wouldn't exist in real life. And here's some real public worlds that have built on Topia. So you can go and check what are other people doing to build these community experiences online? Product Hunt has one. If you're an NFT project, you should note that here you can see Pixels and NFT Gallery. So they've been using Topia. I'm seeing some really creative ways that Topia is being used. I actually had a client that wanted to create a tea ceremony in the metaverse. And here I can see they have a tea house. So I'll be telling my client about this because Topia might actually be a great solution for them. The great aspect of using platforms like this as well is that you're actually able to build awareness around your community if you use a platform like Topia. For instance, they have a Discover Events page on their homepage, which I've just clicked on. And you can see here that, to be honest, there's not that much going on with events. They've got one tea collection here, but imagine if you put your event on this page and created a community discovery event. All right, now onto pricing. So here's the pricing plans. You can see that they do offer a demo version for friends and casual meetups. You can host up to 25 people at once for free. If you go over that, then you pay a dollar per user per month. You can embed live streams, websites and music. So you can still do a lot with a demo version. But if you do want to upgrade, then you're looking at $10 per month as the starting rate. 
It does look a little confusing in terms of what the actual pricing is. So if I were you, I would just contact the team if you're looking to host more than 25 people and see what they say. All right, now Work Adventure. Work Adventure is very similar to Gather.town, but there's also some really big names that are using Work Adventure. So you can feel confident that it's stable enough to use. They integrate a lot of the work tools so that you could collaborate on this platform. So if you're using Google Workspace or Trello or Miro, then Work Adventure could be a great platform for you. But they mentioned that you can host a whole bunch of different events. So if you're looking to host networking or webinars or just social meetups, then they, they mentioned that their platform could work for you. To me, it looks very similar to gather.town. The good news is that they are GR compliant. Let's take a look at their pricing. So for 15 users maximum, they offer a free plan. And then they offer plans that again, very affordable. I think gather.town is more affordable, but then again, maybe work adventure has the features that you need. For instance, I'm seeing here that you can actually publish meetings to YouTube live if you want. If gather.town doesn't meet your needs and you're looking for something really similar, then check out work adventure. Next up, we have connect.club. Connect.club won product of the day on product hunt. You can see here that it seems like a really mobile friendly type of platform and it's really creating virtual spaces, but in mobile friendly ways. Some big names have actually endorsed this platform. You can see on the testimonials, they got the CEO of Sandbox. These are really great names. I really like that this is mobile friendly. You can see that you can create your scenes so you can choose a virtual room. It actually seems pretty simple as a platform, still more fun than Zoom. Very similar to gather.town where everybody can talk you can hear only people near you and you can move from one group to the other. So again, great for virtual networking. For those looking to create virtual art galleries, you can do that using connect.club. I love the fact that they've got integrations with NFTs here. You can visit NFT galleries. You can sell and buy digital art all through connect.club. It's really exciting to me to see these integrations actually exist and it's all through the mobile. I couldn't find any information on pricing. The downside with connect.club is that you do have to download the app. And so this could be a higher barrier to entry for a lot of people who may just prefer to join via a browser link. But if you do have a strong enough community and they're willing to try a new platform, especially something like this that is designed to be better than Zoom, then it could be worth a look. All right, next up we have Geneva Chat. Geneva Chat has just exploded on my Twitter feed in the past six months, I would say. I constantly see chatter around how great Geneva Chat is. The great news is you don't need to download the Mac app. At first I thought you did, but you can actually use your web browser, your iOS, Android. So they do have several different ways to access this, which is great news but I think this is a long time coming because WhatsApp doesn't exactly do a great job. Neither does group messaging generally on, on the phone. So I think that this, I think that Geneva is truly trying to address the challenge of how do you connect via your phone in a way that you're just not getting overwhelmed by 10,000 WhatsApp messages. This is very much like circle.so, but way more mobile friendly and way more chat friendly. So you can actually create different channels for the chats. You can host virtual events all in the app. There's some big communities that are currently using Geneva. So that's great to see. I think this looks like a fantastic platform to create where you can organize your rooms, different topics. It says that you can mix and match five room types to create the ideal space for your people. I love that. So if you're looking for chat rooms, check out Geneva Chat. All right, moving on, wonder.me. Wonder.me is a virtual workspace where teams collaborate side by side from anywhere. So if you've got a DAO, if you've got teams within an NFT collection that are looking to work together, if you have a business and you have remote teams and you want to host a space, then wonder.me 
definitely looks more interesting than Zoom. I love the fact that they show Notion and Miro in their example video because those are two platforms that I know people use a lot. You can see here they have different spaces, it's mobile friendly, very easy to connect. Once you move yourself into different areas, then you can see the videos of those people pop up. They've got sticky notes all around. It just feels like a really collaborative vibe, the virtual version of what happens in real life. Big companies use them. You've got IDEO, Ogilvy, NASA uses <laughs> Wonder.me. That's awesome. And Harvard and Amazon. So big names are using this platform. I actually love this table where they say, do we miss the office? And they've got office versus remote versus with Wonder. And they mentioned that with Wonder, you can basically do everything that you could do in the office or remote that makes you happy. So yeah, I think that's just a really clever way to compare the two. But here you can see you can have the social elements, but it's very much a collaborative vibe. So this platform is really interesting. If you've used a platform like Butter, and I did a whole video just talking about Butter and how it was a great platform for those that want to collaborate. Maybe you're looking for something a little bit more comprehensive, or maybe you just want to try a different platform, then check out wonder.me. Let's take a look at their pricing. So they don't have a free version. So if you're looking for a free version, then I would definitely check out Butter. But if you are looking for something that is more comprehensive, it does seem like Wanda may be a good option. There is a 14 day free trial as well, so you can give that a go. This platform I actually wanted to mention because I thought it was pretty crazy. It's called Famira Vita and it's a mobile friendly app and you can just see it creates these crazy welds where you can just like hang out and it shows your face, but it kind of attaches it to a body and it looks really different. I think something like this, sometimes it's just fun to shake things up and not do a zoom. So if you're looking for something that's just fun and you just want to try going creative with your meetups, then maybe check out Famira Beta. It's super new. I don't think it's very comprehensive as a platform yet but definitely interesting. And lastly, let's take a look at cosmos.video. This is definitely a type of platform where if you have a working team and you're looking for something that kind of combines gather, but you want games as well, then you can check out cosmos video. You can see a lot of big names use cosmos. I'd say it's like gather town, but it's definitely more for teams. So if you're looking for collaboration to happen, but you also want like the fun elements of playing games together, but still going back into meetings and making sure that you're all working and that you know what's going on, then you should check out Cosmos. Let's take a look at their pricing. Oh, I like this. It says pricing built for startups and young companies. So to me, that says that they're very flexible with pricing. They have a calendar invite. So I just recommend going ahead and booking a time with a team if you're interested in this. I love the fact that you can adopt a pet in this platform as well, which I would totally do. Just looking at their features, you can have up to 70 people be part of a single conversation. That's a lot of people. And I'd say that the, with the meetings, it looks pretty similar to Zoom. The UX is slightly nicer than Zoom. You can screen share, it's encrypted. You can raise your hands, you've got reactions. These are really similar to what Zoom has, calendar integrations. So for those that maybe want to have something that looks similar to Zoom, but you wanna add those extra elements like games, et cetera, and being able to walk up to people with your fun little avatars and your dog, then Cosmos could be a really great solution for you to get started. All right, there you have it. That's a ton of other platforms that are not Zoom that are way more fun to connect with each other, to host meetings, to collaborate, to host fun events play games, interact with crazy objects in worlds like Gather Town. Be as creative as you like when you're building these virtual worlds for people to connect and engage with each other. I get really excited. I love exploring new platforms like this where we're creating more meaningful online connections that are way more fun. Zoom is just the first version and these platforms are building on Zoom. We're gonna get better and better over time. Online connections are going to happen in more meaningful, fun, interactive ways. If you found this video useful, then check out my full review of 
Butter, which is an incredible collaboration tool and there's a lot of free features for you to get started. Thanks for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.